the first layer down. So let's do this one. Okay, there we are. So now we're going to use that uh, Griffin Sepia and Devlin Mud Wash that we did in the beginning. Make sure that it's good and Dilute. Looking all right, and now I'm going to do just a little bit of highlighting here, just like we did with the first one. I believe we added just a little pinch of white to it, but definitely not enough to uh, end up making it look chalky. And I think we also added just a tiniest hint of yellow into it as well, just to. Uh, Give that a little extra something. Okay. Pulled it back from the jaws of disaster. That is a good skill to pick up. It's just being, you know, it's also another good reason to uh, dilute your paints. They don't uh, immediately stick and ruin things if you uh, happen to get them a little off course now and then. I'll still probably have to go back in there and... Uh, Put a little wash down there, just darken it back up. I think it may, yeah. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's Griffin CP. I don't want that. I want Devil in Mud. Just a tiny little pinch. And whoop. Got it. All right. So there we are on that. Maybe one more little level of highlight. Get a really bright uh, version of what we've been using here. Just a little more white to it. And just hit the apex of these. Just little tiny areas up there. Just to make them pop a little extra.
Yay, didn't make a mess that time. All right, so now those are done. Uh, and really all we've got left to do is uh, is the uh, pair of axes here and we're going to do those all in steel and they are going to be super easy guys so here we go um, we're going to do uh, chain mail uh, metal as the base uh, just the, the standard games workshop or citadel chain mail metal but we're also going to add just a little bit of the bootstrap brown to it and we're going to also add a little touch of griffin sepia we wanted to have sort of a dingy um, reddish maybe even a little corroded look to it uh, we just wanted to warm it up a little bit um, We're not going to have to add quite as much to this because we've got the Griffin sepia in it, but we still want it to be nice and fluid and not completely cover everything. Okay, so here we go. And if you can see the end of the brush there, it's slightly, um, it's got a slightly brown tinge to the silver, so there we go. It almost looks like an ever so slightly bronzy silver but uh, yeah the manhunters don't strike me as the type of folk to um, to take intense care of their axes or even have the uh, the means to um, they seem like uh, woods folk um, I can't recall the exact backstory from them or for them from the uh, the prime book but um, that was the impression I get from their sculpt and uh, the way that they play they seem borderline feral okay yeah So there we go. Got that. And let's get the other one real quick. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera with the brush. It's just difficult to maneuver. I'm sure I'll get the hang of it with a couple of videos here. I appreciate you guys bearing with me. Oh, off screen again. So, here we are. That's good for the underside, and there we go. Okay, so here we are with the base coat. Uh, axes are all dry. Time to do a little bit of washing and then some shading. Um, while I was waiting for those to dry, I did actually go ahead and do the eyes. I just uh, basically um, filled the eyes with black and then got some little spots near the edges to make it look like the black was actually just the pupil. So nothing spectacular, just uh, trying to make it look not like he had flesh colored eyes or that his eyes were closed. So, uh, okay, up next, let's get uh, just some, uh, some Griffin sepia on these. Um, so... And 
I haven't really diluted this at all, so it's a, a fairly strong coat on here. Um, but it tends to dry a lot lighter than it looks when it's um, when it's wet. So okay, here we go. Let's get the other one here and for some contrast. I think I will actually dilute the wash on this one a touch since it's higher up and therefore according to our higher equals brighter um, we'll wash it a little less so it's a little more brighter and, um, and uh, lighter in tone. Just so there's a little bit of contrast between the two of them. So there we are. All right, so there is a slight tonal difference between the two, but not much. Okay, all right, so I guess we're just gonna let those dry and uh, we will be back in just a second to do some highlighting.